Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will be seeing about a to-do application. This is an application that I have created where we can add or delete or complete a specific task. So let's see how the application works. So this is the first page of the application where we can see a hello text and the all tasks text. Below this where we will be displaying the list of tasks. As there are no tasks now, I am just displaying a GIF image over there. And this is the add tasks page. So on clicking on this, we can see few fields like task, title, description, date, time, and then event, and we can add the task. And secondly is the calendar button. So where we can see the calendar. So if suppose we have uh, assigned a task on 10th, then we will be seeing a small dot below that to just remind us that there is a there's something that we need to do on that day or we have had it a uh, to do on that day so let's add a task so that i'm going to keep the title as video reminder and description as video and the date I will be selecting as today and the time will be around 9 and on clicking on add task the task is being added over here it displays uh, the title and then the description with the date with the date and the time so date is wednesday 9th december and the time is 9 54 and then this is the status is the task completed or upcoming and all that and then there are few actions so on clicking on delete the task will get deleted if we want to update the task then we can come here and then we can update anything so i will just description so here yeah, the description is updated and if we click on complete the task will get complete so that's the thing if we click on complete we'll get a dialogue telling that the task has been completed and let me add another task I have added a task for 8 o'clock that means we will be receiving an alarm at 8 o'clock so this is the first alarm that comes basically 10 minutes before the time and then after that that is the first reminder and after that we will be getting another reminder that will be exactly at 8 o'clock. So the time is 8 o'clock and we can see that there's an alarm that rang at sharp 8 o'clock. So that is about the application and we can complete the task and the task will be completed. So that's about the features of the application and let's talk about the APIs and libraries that I have used to complete the application. So these are the libraries that I'm using to create the application. First, this is built on Android X. Secondly, I'm using a library called as calligraphy for supporting different fonts third i'm using button knife this helps in binding the ids where we don't have to use the find view by id we can just directly inject an id and start using it and i'm using room database for storing all the data locally and changing the status delete and updating and everything happens in room database i'm using glide library to display the images and lastly i'm using a calendar view library where from where I'm fetching the calendar and I'm displaying it. Now let's see the code. So firstly, I'll start with the main activity. So this is what I said is the bind view. So we can directly bind the view. So this will be the ID. So you can see this is the ID and then we can directly use it. We don't have to use find view by ID here. And after that, there's something called as setup adapter. This is a function where I'm just setting up the adapter, the task adapter and 
below is a set of code that I've used for registering the broadcast receiver. And then this is a GIF image that I'm using. This is the welcome GIF image. Yeah. This is the layout file. It has two texts. It has a recycler view which shows the list and then an image below that and a add task button and then another calendar image. So inside the create task bottom sheet fragment, there's a layout. So this layout has all the text fields and the input fields over here. And this is the add task button. First, I'm just initializing the alarm service because below we will be registering the alarm. And this is the add task button so on clicking on the add task it will first validate all the fields so it will first see if all the fields are not empty and it has some value if some of the fields are empty it will just create a toast telling that this particular field is empty this is a boolean function after it returns true it will enter into the create task function so this create task function calls the room database so your we are just creating the task. I'm just adding all the fields into a particular model. So this is a task model that I have created. The task ID will be the primary key. And these are all the other parameters inside it. And after that, I have created getters and setters for everything. So here I'm setting all the data into the model class. And after setting the data, there's something called as is edit. I'll let you know about it later. So basically now this edit is false and it comes inside this and it inserts all the data into the table so let's see what the table is so this is basically the client the database client and then our db name is task db and then these are the set of actions so i have select action delete a task or insert the data directly and then delete a task id select data from a particular task id update the data of a task so again, going back to create task bottom sheet. So here, yeah, it inserts all the data of a particular task into this table, into the task table. This happens in background. And after we come to the post execute, in post execute, we are just creating an alarm. We will be creating an alarm with the particular date and time that uh, we have given in the task so this will be the particular date and time and after we create an alarm it gets registered in an alarm broadcast receiver so once this broadcast receiver gets triggered this alarm activity will be visible on the screen so this is the layout of the alarm activity it has an image view over here it has a text a title description and the date, time and date with a button so every time the broadcast receiver triggers something the alarm activity would be called and all the data that we have passed will be set and we will be seeing another activity over there so that's why we are registering a broadcast receiver here so that's about create task bottom sheet so let's see how to update a particular task the action for updater comes in the adapter so this is the adapter and this is the layout of the adapter so basically inside the adapter there is day date and then month these are three fields and this is a title field this is a description and this is the status and this is a small button on clicking on this button it calls a pop-up menu so this is a pop-up menu that I've created on clicking the button. So these are the datas inside the menu. So we have delete, update and complete. So on clicking on the delete button, it actually deletes by showing an alert dialog. We're just asking a confirmation from the user. So if the user says yes, then it goes inside the delete, delete task function. And then here we are just sending the task ID Yeah, so here we are just sending the task ID and the position. So I get the task ID over here. So it deletes the particular column from the table. 
the same thing happens to update as well the same thing happens to complete as well in complete it just shows another dialog and deletes the column as we are not doing anything else for it so now let's go to update so there are two places where i am calling create bottom sheet fragment one is while creating it and second is while updating it first one while creating it i will be sending the task id as zero and is edit as false if i am sending is edit as true that means the create task bottom sheet will be fetching some data and showing it to us where we can edit it here i am sending the particular task id which i want to edit and i am sending the is edit as true so this is the place where everything gets assigned so it comes here and if is edit is true it just fetches the data from that particular task id so this is the function it calls select star from task where the task id is the task id that i have sent once there is a, a row with this particular task id it just fetches all the task ids and then the data is set to its particular fields and after the data is set the bottom sheet will be visible on clicking on the add task button over there it again comes to create task and just checks if it is edit or if it's not edit if it's not edit it inserts the data as a new row if it is edit then it fetches a particular task id and then updates all the data of that task id the particular task uh details will be changed and the new details will be visible so other things that are there in the application is uh, something called as a material calendar view so this is just a calendar view so let's see the calendar view in the layout file so this is the calendar view that i have added i'm just fetching all the tasks from the task table so these are all the tasks and after fetching all the tasks from the tasks table i am just getting the date of it the date month and the year of i am just adding a small dot image below so that the particular date when we have assigned the task will be highlighted and there is something called as the base activity so this activity extends app compact activity and this base activity extends all the activities so this base activity extends all the activities uh in the application so basically if we have to do something something that represents all the activities so we can do that so what i am using here is i am i am just extending attach based context for the calligraphy library so we just have to declare this in one place and then the font gets attached everywhere we are calling it because i am extending the base activity to all the activities in the application so this is the app controller that extends application so this basically has the font inside it and this is the font that i am using so let's see the application again again a task called as video and then a description with today's date and now time So the task is added. If we come to the calendar view, that's the first reminder. And if we come to the calendar view, and we can see that there is a dot below it, which represents that there is that we have added some to do on that particular date. And after that, if we want to complete it, then we can basically complete. So let's wait for eight twenty four, and then we can complete the task. if you want to delete it it deletes and it gets disappeared from the list so the time is 8:24 and there i receive an alarm at the particular time and after that i'm just going to complete the task and the task is disappeared from the list So that's about the application that I've created. I'll have the GitHub link and the APK in the description so you can find them there. Thank you so much for watching the video.